I don't have enough knowledge about the math behind the Earth's spherical shape or flat shape, right? Nathan, all I'm going to say is, I, you can ask anyone here who's listening, I already confessed that said was wrong based on the evidence you provided. Excellent. Now it's my opportunity to welcome you to Flat Earth. Obviously wants to join in. Hello, what's your what's your name? How can I help? Hello, my name's Kobako. I just wanted to know what the uh, topic was about because I'm just listening at the moment. I did react to that. I said, "Are there actual flat earthers in here, or is it just a meme? Like, do people actually believe that's true?" Or in this call, I'm saying this is a flat Earth Discord server. Yes, many of us are flat earthers. Is that is that really really your question? No, but I feel like you're. If you guys are having a discussion about something don't you both have to have different views on flat earth theory it's not a theory theory uh well i mean i, I look guys i'm not a flat earther so i was just as i said i was just trying to listen so i don't okay. know if you both are speaking no worries uh, uh, first and <laughs> foremost all. you've had a groan from several people here when you've said theory would you like that explaining um if, if they want to sure but yeah it's yeah useful. sure okay so theory would be a term used in science and theory comes after experimentation so phenomena mm -hmm. hypothesis experiment then theory so when you say flat earth theory it's like what theory we're not asserting any theory obviously the term's misused quite a lot because it could also mean colloquially a mystic meg theory or an ostradamus theory and that's how theory is used when assertions of the sphere are being made because there's no scientific evidence that we're on a sphere that's why you got a groan. Right. Oh, fair enough. Well, okay, just, just oh, okay, fair enough. So, what would I say? Flat Earth. What? What would be the better uh, follow-up word? I, I don't know. Ideal. I I don't know what's going on in your brain. Truth. Flat Earth. Flat Earth. Fact. Truth. Description. Oh, come on. The description of an aspect of the world we live in. But it's a fact. I'm someone who doesn't believe it's flat Earth, so I wouldn't say that's the truth. Sorry, I misheard. Did you say it again. No, I, I'm just saying you're saying the flat Earth truth. Someone said to call it the flat Earth truth, right? Yeah, I mean the Earth's obviously, observably, measurably, navigationably flat. Not really. The experience Not really. you've ever had. <laughs> uh, guys, can you can you hear this guy trying to trying to respond to me? What do you mean, not really? Well, well, if you've seen. The study on how there was two people, right? I, I don't know what the study is exactly called, but there were two people standing uh, on a flat, like let's say just like a desert, very, very flat, no mountains, no, no, not a hilly surface, just flat. And there was very flat, very flat, yes. And the person that was standing far away could only see the horizon. He couldn't see the other person or the helicopter that was there. Now the person standing next to the helicopter beyond the horizon. Um, was obviously in contact with the person standing far away and said, okay, the helicopter is going to take off. Tell me when you see it in the air. The person close sees the helicopter um, ascending, but the person standing far away who's looking out in the horizon sees nothing. And then the guy's like, so, 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 no, no, no. So I'm saying if it was flat, you'd see the helicopter rising at the exact same time. But it took longer for the person standing further away to see the helicopter. So, I mean, that's why Flat Earth, the whole Flat Earth idea isn't concrete. It's not like a fact. Right. It's really? just an idea. So, you said, let's just address a couple of those things. Can I? Is it? Is it? Uh, uh, maybe maybe it is. Can I uh, if it is, yeah, that? I think so. Which bit, are we? Right, I'll keep it short. Uh, so you say it rises up and then you don't immediately see it, right? So what do you think causes that? Why isn't it oh, no. visible right away to the observer? Um, because he can't see beyond the horizon. And the horizon is where usually the Earth would start chirping. Oh, so the horizon's Earth curve. Chirping off. 
I see. So your assertion in this instance is that the horizon is a physical geometric sphere edge blocking the helicopter then? Well, yes. I'm, and I don't mean it's like an actual edge that's, you know, straight that just dips. I'm saying it's just like a slight, very, very slight curvature. Yeah, an edge blocking the helicopter. Yes, exactly. You said no, not quite, but then disagreed, but only to go on to say that it's Oh, no, no, I I thought, no, no, I was just saying no. I thought like when you said that, like, that's like where it just curves. That's where the curve begins. That's what I, that's what I was. I see. So so you are, you are under the misapprehension that the horizon is a physical edge for boats to fall over then. No, I didn't say that. Sorry, you said a helicopter went behind it. I went behind it, but I'm saying the helicopter wouldn't be able to to be like, oh, I'm on an edge. Well, like a boat it, going you, you over can't, You can't tell. It, sorry, it seems that you don't understand your own assertion about what a sphere would do. No, I, I know what you're saying. You don't so, need to talk, so, I'm talking. So boat, you don't so need boat. to talk, I'm talking. Okay. That doesn't mean you immediately start talking through me. When I say you well, don't... Well, you're making assumptions, I'm just correcting Excuse you. Excuse me, all. I'll try a third time. You will not talk through me. I'll say it again. Go ahead. Starting with my correct assertion that you don't seem to understand what the sphere asserts. It's based on a begging the question proof of nothing perspective hijacking earth curve calculator labelled earth curve calculator. And it asserts that there will be a physical geometric sphere edge for boats to fall over. You're claiming the same sphere edge blocks your view of a helicopter. And then saying, no, it's not an edge for boats to fall over. That's the fourth time you've interrupted this statement, okay. my friend. Can you not interrupt everything I say? That's the fourth time you've interrupted uh, me on this statement. So, I merely clarify. Are, are you that sensitive? Triggered I don't Globe Believer. Fifth time triggered Globe Jesus, Believer. Man. Please pop yourself on mute till I have finished my statement. Hello? I'm not going to tell you for a sixth time not to talk through me. Until you go on mute, I can't continue because you're constantly interrupting me. Hello? Are you deaf? Oh, so you're not going to continue if I don't go on mute? I will continue when you go on mute, as I'm now demanding that you do, so you don't talk through me for a sixth time. Okay, well, I'm not going to go on mute. So it's up to you if you want to continue then. So either you get to talk continually through me or you won't participate. So you will use what we taught, we have deemed the fundamentalist religious zealot mute button you will mute my statement regardless so you're not going to tolerate me rebutting what you have actually stated which is that a physical geometric sphere edge horizon blocks your view of a helicopter i'm merely clarifying what you've already claimed you seem apprehensive to just confirm what you've already stated i haven't even refuted it yet i'm merely trying to get you to clarify your own bloody position and you've interrupted me six times just makes the show well when you were when you were clarifying all i was saying was yes i was actually disagreeing and you're like oh you've interrupted me oh you've interrupted me i'm just agreeing with what you're saying all right that's all excellent well you're gonna have a struggle to not talk through me we'll see when i refute that if the earth was a sphere with a radius 3959 as asserted in the begging the question proof of nothing perspective hijacking earth curve calculator to give you your value of a sphere edge to block the helicopter then every measured distance to that horizon could be no more than 1.2 times the square root of the observer's height in feet and we have imagery beyond the geometric limitations of a physical sphere with a radius 3959 therefore the horizon is not a sphere edge Oh, are you finished now? What? Taking apart your assertion that a sphere edge blocked a helicopter by debunking the assertion that it's a sphere edge? Am I done ripping your globe claim to pieces? Yeah, I am pretty much done ripping to shreds your claim that a helicopter's blocked by a sphere edge. It isn't. Uh, okay, nice, man. No worries, man. Okay, good one. But, uh, okay, then, then keep it explained to me the lunar eclipse. Why Sorry, is it the lunar eclipse? No, we're going to have you actually acknowledge that the helicopter's not blocked by a sphere edge. Sure, I, I acknowledge it. I'm happy. Well, I, I'm, okay. I'm still... Um, okay, I, I said it. I acknowledge it. Fair enough. Well, we, what then are, the Earth is not honest, a sphere edge. I don't understand me. the mathematical terms. Is uh, yes, once you've conceded, you don't need to continue babbling indefinitely. No, I'm, I'm allowed to. I'm allowed to. Sorry. I'm allowed to. Babble indefinitely? You've conceded. No, your example with a helicopter being blocked by... No, I'm allowed to. 
I'm allowed to. I I cause I I said yes to that. I said yes to that. Now you don't need to you don't need to have this sort of a prideful uh, you know rebuttal all the time. Oi, glow believing wanker! Shut the fuck up and be berated by the flat earther, not a meme, an actual person ripping your claim to shreds. That's right, dick brain. You are thick as shit and being told off by a flat earther for how fucking stupid you are. You claimed a sphere edge got in the way of a helicopter. Now rip that garbage to shreds. That's right, fuckwit. A flat earther ripped your stupid nonsense to shreds and now you want to move on to eclipses and claim that I'm not going to have my victorious moment. Yes, I will. I'll claim victory because you lost to a flat earther with your stupid shitty claim that the horizon's a fucking sphere edge. It isn't shit for brains. <laughs> Who's God, making okay. that noise? I do, I, I do still believe in that, right? Believe in it? No, mate, we've debunked it. So your belief is inconsequential because we've debunked it as a sphere edge. It's beyond the geometric limitations of a sphere radius 3959. We've debunked it. Now, you may not understand that, and you may want to move past it having conceded it onto eclipses. But if you haven't got a sphere edge, then you have no Earth curve geometry. You haven't got an Earth curve anymore, idiot. Childish one, two, at that. All, all, all I'm going to say to you is, okay, you, I, the thing that I didn't agree with was when you said, oh, then a boat falls off. When you said that, I said, no, it doesn't merely just fall over, like fall off the edge. It goes into it. That's all I want to say. What, the edge that I've debunked with a modus tollens argument, black swan debunking physical geometry. Now, your boat, a claim to go over an edge and have a feet and inches value ascribable in the begging the question, proof of nothing perspective hijacking earth curve calculator based on an R value and a tangent point to a horizon. We have debunked that. Therefore, you no longer have Earth curve, my friend. So you, you actually believe it's fire? Come again? I still don't know. I don't know if you're meaning or not. This Come again? Flatter, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I'm saying because based on that, what he's saying, based on that, that uh, you know, the uh, the debunked thing that I said. Okay, if he has evidence to, to provide, I and he, and if if he's what he's saying is true, I can't refute that. Fair enough. I was wrong. Fair right. enough. Okay, I'm, I'm, you can. Yeah, fair enough. I'm not going to be sit here okay. and be ignorant and have Perfect. some sort now of delusion. Now you need to shut up. Better. Yes, yes, no. yes. Everyone else, no, no, including no, no, this no. guy, please no. be quiet. Hello. Yes, now you've conceded I've refuted your claim that you said it's yes. ludicrous to assert that Earth's flat despite us pointing out that's how it's... You're going to talk to it me was again. Based you off complete cunt. A documentary. You complete wanker. It was what part of... Documentary. Yeah, mate, mate, mate. Hello, mate. hello, hello. hello. I understand your claim. I heard it. Then I took my trousers down and took a giant shit on it. Now I need you to shut the fuck up. Do you understand no, that? No, I'm not going to. No, then I'll kick that. you out. Sorry. You either accept Sorry. that your stupid shit claim that you took as read from a documentary that you now want to babble through me about was ripped to shreds by me, leaving you with no claim, high and dry, and nothing to assert as proof of a sphere. So when you babble on and mutter about what this means, it means Earth's not a sphere. Do you understand that? Nathan, all I'm going to say is, I, you can ask anyone here who's listening, I already confessed that said was wrong based on the evidence you provided. Excellent. Now it's my opportunity to welcome you to Flat Earth. <laughs> no, no, I'm definitely not joining Flat Earth. <laughs> uh, no, it's not joining. It's a recognition that we don't have Earth curve, which is what would be required to be on a sphere. And as you've just conceded, you don't have that anymore. So welcome to Flat Earth. Earth is obviously, observably, measurably, and navigatably flat. And when you say, no, 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 a helicopter went behind the horizon, I just point out the horizon's not Earth curve. And then where do you go with your belief in being on a sphere? Then can you explain to me what the horizon is then, please? It's the apparent position where the sky meets the ground or sea. Okay, and what's beyond it? If you, what's beyond it? Is it still just flat? Sorry, who cares? It's not Earth curve. Your belief in a sphere has Earth curve. 
And we've debunked it, my friend. And I know that every time I point that out, you're going to jabber through me and tell me, no, I refuse to not have my fundy mute button to shut you up every time something devastating comes my way about my belief that Earth Curve gets in the way of things. I can measure Earth Curve. I can get our values from Earth Curve Horizon Tangents. We've destroyed all of that, my friend. So Earth's not a sphere. Well, no, you haven't destroyed all of that. That's yeah, we have. I've just done it. You just don't want to accept it. A hand wave followed by a question about eclipses won't change that you've conceded you don't have Earth curve. One of the fundamental things about being on a sphere is having Earth curve, though. You appreciate that, right? Sure. Welcome to Flat Earth. Oh, no, but I'm saying to it. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Sure, but no. Okay. No, no, no. I haven't got Earth Curve, but I still want to believe I'm on a sphere. Well, good for you. We'll just keep welcoming you to Flat Earth when you keep conceding you haven't got an Earth Curve edge to block things. Okay, no offence, you're quite hypocritical, but it's okay. I'm quite hypocritical. Meanwhile, we've only got one horizon, and the horizon in your begging the question proof of nothing perspective hijacking Earth Curve calculator is physical and geometric. You thought it blocked helicopters! Exactly as asserted in your calculations that have physical horizons. It's not. It's an apparent, meaning not physical, location where the sky appears, redundant, to meet the land or sea. Not an earth curve edge that bends at altitude or blocks boats or buildings. No, my friend, you've already conceded you don't have that. Welcome to Flat Earth. Definitely not joining, but either way, the horizon does... It's not a club. It's a recognition of your reality. I don't give a crap about you thinking you're joining a club or seeing me as a club member. No, I just recognise the reality around me. There's no Earth curve. Okay, can you please explain to me the eclipse then? Let's move the topic. No. Why would I need to explain an eclipse to you? I haven't made any claims about an eclipse. There's a claim that there's an eclipse caused by heliocentric motion. I haven't made it. So maybe you need to launch into your claim about the eclipse because I don't make one. I was about to. I was about to. Oh, Excellent. Okay. Copy, do you want me to? Don't, yeah, what's up? don't you think a more prudent question would be to ask, you've just conceded that the radius isn't where it should have been. Why would that video that you were referencing show something that couldn't really occur in real life? Or why are they manipulating the footage to make it appear like a helicopter can hide behind a bulge of water when water always rests flat and level? That should be the real question, not that you agree with Nathan that the radius has been disproven, that it definitely, we can see too far, but yet at the same time to say we can't see far enough when helicopters hide behind the curvature. Or to put it another um, way, let, let's dwell on your total failure to prove you're on a sphere when you asked if flat earth was a meme. I told you it's measured flat, navigated flat, and obviously and observably flat. You ignored all of it in favour of an earth curve getting in the way of a helicopter because a documentary told you on telly. What a no, thick it's not, it's not like that. It, it, even even a ship even a ship sailing off. How can you explain it? You can't just say that the sorry that's a burden of proof reversal fallacy. I shit on your claim, you demand I explain it. That's a logical fallacy. Yeah, like all globe believing wankers, you suddenly think that I owe you an explanation for the horizon. No, I don't globe believing wanker your explanation was ripped to shreds i now don't owe you an explanation for what the horizon is okay no, you are not the center of attention right you know you're not <laughs> it's my show it's got my name over the channel but i'm not the center of attention i can assure you i am it's my fucking channel so yeah absolutely people come here because it's my name over the door do you think you're the center of attention here gamma dick no, my friend. I assure you, I absolutely unequivocally am the center of attention right now. Yeah? People are listening to me rip you a new asshole, and they take great pleasure in it. They especially take great pleasure when an arrogant prick like you starts talking through me and telling me that I'm not to be the center of attention. When you haven't got a geometric horizon to block a helicopter, because it told you on the telly, didn't it, dickhead? Are you finished? Yeah, ripping you a new asshole, I'll do it all day. Regardless of your condescending tone that I'm not done ripping you a new asshole. Yeah, I can do this all day with globe-believing idiots, my friend. We're not a meme. We're the people pointing out that you haven't got a physical geometric sphere edge for a horizon. You want to move on, I want to dwell. Just like everyone else here who seems to be in agreement with me when they ask you, like the guy just did. Why isn't it that you don't want to dwell on your lack of R? 
That's what your globe belief Let's requires. You just want to talk to me. Mm. Fundy mute the crap out of me and then ask me if I'm not the centre of attention on my own show. I mean, you're not. Yeah, that's going to go down well. It doesn't matter. Yeah, just keep Fundy keep muting me, dipshit. This guy, even though you debunked it, he still thinks he's on a sphere. No, it's... I said to you, someone sent me a link saying that the evidence, the documentary has been proven fake. And I can agree with that. What do I, why am I, what grounds do I have to stand and be like, no, it was true. I, we don't. We debunked Earth Curve Edge Horizons with Modus Tolens. It's beyond the geometric limitations of a sphere radius 3959. We can demonstrate that all day long. <sighs> yeah, you can sigh all you know. like. That's the fact of the matter. You haven't got a sphere edge for a horizon anymore. And that's a fundamental part of having a sphere underneath your feet. So if you haven't got it, you haven't got a sphere underneath your feet. Okay, can you please explain the phenomenon then? Oh. No, I've just told you that's a burden of proof reversal fallacy. Me ripping apart your claim that a horizon that's physically blocking things, as per my depiction on screen right now, where it says location of geometric horizon, and the two triangles represent the thing it's blocking, and I rip that to shreds, I then don't have to launch into an explanation for the horizon. That's not my burden. I haven't made any claims about it. I've just ripped your claim that it blocked a helicopter to shreds. I owe you nothing thereafter. This guy. This guy telling me I don't owe him anything. I don't owe you, Jack. I'm not going to explain the horizon to you. No. You, on the other hand, are a dick and claimed it blocked a helicopter and then had that ripped to shreds and now feel you've got the right to demand an explanation from me. You haven't. I know. I never. I never said that. I never. Yeah, you did. You asked me to explain it. You stupid moron. You don't realise you're being recorded. Yes, you did. It doesn't matter if I'm recorded. I must. Yeah, it means that when you lie and say you haven't just claimed that, I can trim it out and play it right after you lie. So stop lying, you globe-believing twat. This is uh Yeah, you did demand that I explain it, burden of proof reversal fallacy. Then you lied. You just embarrassed me as well. Yeah, then you fundy muted me. So now it's fundy mute time. You have reversed the burden of proof and demanded an explanation for the phenomena of the horizon of me because I took apart your claim. That's a fallacy. You keep ignoring it. I am not oh my goodness, man. You you're you're really self-centered as a person. I've that's called an ad hominem fallacy. Attack the man rather than the argument. Your argument being a helicopter's blocked by a horizon, and now you're attacking me, the man. Another logical fallacy. I confess to that. Hello. What, what, what more do you want me to do? What more do you want me to do? do Nothing. I don't want you to do anything. I want you to shut the fuck up. But it doesn't seem to matter how many times I try and take apart your complete horse shit that you think has come from a meme, that would be me, not a meme, mate. A guy ripping you a new asshole. You refuse to shut the fuck up. You constantly fundy mute me. So what do I want? I want you to sit down and shut the fuck up. How about that? Can you do yeah. that? You globe believing retard? So is this what you So you can't sit down and shut up. So what I want's irrelevant because you're a globe believing chanting bastard who won't shut up. Okay. I don't believe you're, you're just So shut up! You stupid idiot! No. No. You want to chant through me? I know. People share their pain with me all the time. They get to the point where they're welcome to Flat Earth and they say, no, I want to perceive it as a club that I don't want to join. Yeah, we know. Yeah, your path is anti-Flat Earth from here on out. Working out ways of getting back a physical geometric sphere edge to block things in the distance, even though you've already conceded it doesn't exist. Yeah, we know what you need. You need to chant through me. You're all the same. Are you done? What, on my show berating you the clown no i told you that you've already asked that and i've answered no i could do this all day i do it for a living i do it daily and that would be to berate clowns like you upon concession who ask if i'm done no i will continually point out that for earth to be a sphere it'd need earth curve you've claimed it's the horizon block in a helicopter i've ripped it to shreds and you want to ask if i'm done yeah i could destroy the global day mate you want to ask me again Ask if I'm a meme, you dumb shit. Disrespectful brat. How am I disrespecting? How am I disrespecting him? I haven't sworn at him once. I I, I confess to, to I confess to what I said. Different things. Disrespectful on. And let me tell you, this is my show, hun. The first comment you said and how also, disrespectful also you were. 
<laughs> and your attitude, I would have kicked you off my show in a second. You're lucky this man even gives you airtime. Have some respect uh. for people. I'm not what do you mean? Well, you what do you mean? Plan around because I, I feel disrespected that you're disrespecting him in the manner that you are. And then you want to talk about us being on mute. I'm on mute because I have respect. Something you need to learn. Okay? The, Anyways, no, sorry, I, Nathan. Why would I respect someone that... Why would you respect a flat earther that's just ripped you a new asshole? Yeah, why indeed, you fucking retard. Yeah, because you're an arrogant prick who has decided that we're stupid. Therefore, why would we get any respect? Yeah, I understand... I've dealt with it for years. So when I take great pleasure in ripping you a new asshole, pointing out how fucking stupid you are, I will berate you, I will tell you off, and I'll talk down to you like the dumb twat that you are. Okay. Good. I'm glad you accept that you will be berated by the person more intelligent than yourself. So when you feel that you don't deserve us respect, you do. You're an idiot. You're being educated and you should be grateful. As this boy pointed out to you, you should be thankful, where in fact you're asking me if I'm done. What, done educating you, dumbass? No, that's an eternal job that will never end. People like you will be forever thick. And no matter how much I attempt to educate your dumbass, you'll merely ask if I'm finished when you've interrupted me. When I, when I ask if you're done, I don't mean to come off disrespectful if you're that sensitive. I'm sorry. Really? When I've asked you to shut the fuck, sit down and put yourself on mute about 14 times, not being disrespectful... Yeah, I've told you to shut up. It's my show. And I want you to shut up. You're the dumbest person here. You've offered a response, conceded it, and now you want to babble on with your next crap that we'll have to take apart with you interrupting and asking if we're done. Yeah, we know you're being disrespectful. You're just a lying piece of shit who is now trying to justify your abject disrespect of us. It's double standards. Nice one. You're the one clutching your pearls because he swore. You're a little bitch. <laughs> no, he said he said I'm, uh, I'm not disrespecting him. I didn't know he's that sensitive. That's disrespectful. To me, I don't right need there. I don't need you to respect me. I never asked for your respect. Uh, sorry, I don't respect you. You complete fucking clown. You think I have an ounce of respect for you? I'm talking down to you, you dumb shit. You think I respect you? Hello, I took a giant shit on your argument, and I'm now calling you a fuckwit. You think that's respect? Oh my god, you're thicker than I thought. I don't respect you. In fact, I'm overtly disrespecting you. Do you understand what's happening? You're being overtly disrespected by the person who has ripped your argument to pieces, demonstrating how stupid you are. That's not respect. Then you question whether or not you should give me respect. Yeah, I don't want it. I don't care if you respect me, because I'm in a position to disrespect you based on your abject stupidity. Do you understand me, clown? No, I don't. Yeah, I know that. You're thick. Yeah, that's another overt disrespect remark to you. Thick. Even when you're being berated and talked down to by someone clearly more intelligent than you, you don't realise it's even happening and question whether or not you owe somebody respect, you gamma prick. Yeah, it's all about whether or not you're getting the respect here. Nobody gives two shits. We don't know who you are. We don't know your name. We have zero respect for you, globe-believing clown. You've, you've been shown you have no geometric horizon. Earth is not a sphere, but you still believe you're living on a ball. That's amazing. No, have I, I've confessed to the uh, documentary and what, I, what my claim was to be wrong. Then ask another question. Because my claim was based on something that was already proven fake. I didn't know that. I was educated on that by Nathan and someone else who sent me a message proving that it was wrong. And I confessed to that. And then he just keeps going on about saying, this is just with swear words and using his, you know, facade and all this stuff. But all I've been trying... Sorry, that's an ad hominem attack. So I'm using a facade. No, I had an argument. If Earth's sphere radius 3959, every distance to the geometric horizon can be no more than 1.2 times the square root of the observer's height and feet. Distance in the black swan to the horizon beyond the geometric limitations of a sphere radius 3959. That's my argument. What you talking about, this facade? I'm saying the way you speak. So Sorry, my accent? That's not a facade. And who gives a shit about how I speak? I speak very disrespectfully to people like you who want to move on the subject, even though everyone around them saying, why is it that you want to move on in your globe belief that's already been ripped to pieces? Why would you want to do that? We want to dwell on this. And you just said you don't care about the mass. 
You better no, no. care about the mass if you're going to go over here and try to defend I've, the globe. I've made it. I made it clear from the start that I don't have enough knowledge about the math behind the Earth's spherical shape or flat shape. Right? I get it. So you're an ignorant fuckwit who thought he could stroll into a flat Earth server and assume we're all memes. Stay yeah, you're the most ignorant person here, my friend. We know. The fact that you now realize and can verbalize just how ignorant you are. You, you wouldn't listen. So why are you jabbering through me? You've just explained, yet you don't know your own fucking argument. We know. And I know as well. Yeah, good. So maybe you should sit down and shut up? Yeah, then why do you have attitude? If you Yeah, dumb shit. Sit down, put yourself on mute. Don't demand that you're going to get the next question answered. You're the dumbest person here. I never demanded it. I ne oh, right, so we're going to move on to eclipses and you're not going to go on mute. That's what you've told me. I can. I can go good. on mute. Yeah, good lad. Go mute you good like lad. Pop yourself on mute. There's a good lad. Go ahead. Good lad. <laughs> right, now we can talk about how thick you are. Not to you. About you. Totally disrespecting you. We don't want your input. While you're here, we're going to talk about how stupid you are.